I don't believe in work-life balance. I think that's total bullshit. But, you know, I will, uh, tonight I'm ski home with the family. Um, I'm going to have dinner with my wife. Um, we're going to, you know, I'm going to put the kids to bed. And then I may do another hour or two of work. Um, and then tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and take the kids skiing. And then I'm going to go home for lunch. I have lunch with my wife. And then in the afternoon I may do an hour, another hour or two of work. I think the, the, the key is to sort of combine all these sort of things as opposed to separate them into these sort of blocks. And I think that think is one of the reasons you see. Do you, think, do you think you can do that in the early days? So you can, when you have the infrastructure that you have, you live together you have the kids together when you don't live together and it's quite an effort to see each other do you see what i mean yeah but also you know that that gets to a little bit of like you know there are a lot of people out there um who um technically can afford an assistant but don't because they're like no that's it's just it's it's too much and what they realize is and like they look at that as um a cost uh, analysis as opposed to they look at it they don't, they don't look at it in terms of as as a resource analysis that actually they will get more time I mean, it's it truly particularly in with entrepreneurs um the assistant thing comes very very late because all of us believe that like no we can't afford it we don't deserve it it's just we we have a certain working model operational model of how we get things done and if we don't if we don't do it ourselves then it's just not going to work and what you realize is there's all this stuff in your day that is just not um it's not necessarily like it's it's just like administrative work and if you if you offload the administrative work all the time you're spending whether it's with your girlfriend or it's with your family or it's with your your job it's all very high quality so here's a very simple example we've moved my kid's school um to the school that is we actually we bought a home right by our kid's school um and is it, the school's great and the community is amazing, but there are other places we could live. But actually, Lynn, my wife and I value the fact that our commute time for the kids' school is effectively four minutes each way. And mm-hmm. so, you speak. We, I speak to friends, and they're like, "Well, you know, we moved to this this area, and we love this area." And I was like, "Well, how long is the commute?" They're like, 40 minutes each way during a snowstorm." And I'm like, "Every single day, you are wasting 80 minutes. It's like almost an hour and a half of your time." So there are all these optimizations, like. Where we ski, for example, it's not the best ski resort in the world, but it's a ski resort that allows us to get there 60 minutes door to door. And so those are some of the calculations I think you can make to optimize better. Yeah, no, I I get you. I I guess I also then just worry about romance and losing the spontaneity and you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Um, You know, and and, and, I mean, we can talk about that uh, sort of, I don't don't know if we're we're starting yet, but, but I'm happy to talk about that because actually I think, you know, having kids take some romance away, but in other ways, Um, increase the whole dynamic like anyways we can talk about that